In this quick video, we're going to learn how to export an asset in a framer. So simply select any asset. In this case, it's going to be this button and at the very right on the bottom of the right column, you're going to see this export feature. Simply click on a plus and as you scroll down, you're going to see that this option is going to open up. Now, the very first thing that you're going to have to decide is to either export this as a PNG or as a JPEG. Generally speaking, if you're working with an image, you want to export this as a JPEG, but if that image is specifically having a transparency applied to it, so think about maybe a person with a transparent uh, background uh, or maybe even uh, a logo you might want to opt for the PNG as it's going to accept uh, that transparency. Now you're going to have to be mindful if you're then going to export and uh, add these uh, images to a website because uh, the, the sizes uh, are going to depend based on the image so you might want to compress them afterwards. That being said, once you selected either PNG or JPEG, you can decide the ratio which you want to export it. 1x means exactly the same size as you have it over here. So for example, the width is going to be 108 pixels and the height is going to be 36 pixels. So at 1x, that is exactly going to be the export size. If uh, you wanted to, say, do it at 2x, it's going to double the size. So the sizes that we just mentioned, times 2. And then you can do the same also times 3, times 4. 0.5 is simply going to be half of these sizes. So you can easily export these into one or even multiple sizes. So you can have a 1x and 2x and as you can see the second value for the 2x is going to be the suffix and this means that whenever we export this in these two file formats this file is going to have a suffix in order to make it easier to view on the folder and if I click on export I can go ahead and say create a folder, add a button, and if I go in my folders, I'm going to essentially see that uh, we have uh, this uh, button exported and uh, the suffix uh, at 2x can be seen right here. So now you know how to export uh, any item uh, and asset in Framer.